Hi, my name is Walid Elamari. Today I'm going to be showing you firewall automation and then managed by DenCloud. Um, when you first sign up at DenCloud, you sign up under a virtual private data center. The first thing that happens when you sign up is we actually automatically provision a virtual firewall for you. Now, there's cool functionality you can do in the firewall that you normally have to hire someone to actually um, configure it, configure this stuff for you. But with DenCloud, then manage everything is automated and it's turnkey. So first step is I'm already signed up. I'm going to log on with my demo account. And from here, I'm going to go under my Den Cloud. Under my Den Cloud, I have my HVDs, I have my Den server, my security, and I have my storage and my deprovision VMs. So let me just explain to you um, the purpose of this section. Right now, I have a whole bunch of servers. I have some Windows servers, and I also have some Linux servers. Um, I like to open up, or I like to make one of these servers an actual web server. So normally, I go through the configuration phase of setting up the server, installing IIS, or installing Apache on this Linux server. And once I'm done, I'm ready to allow people from the internet to access this server over HTTP. So how do we actually accomplish this from a security perspective? So first thing what we need to do is, this is my virtual firewall here. There's three different components. One is IP addresses. Number two is ports. Number three is VPN. Under IP addresses, you have the ability to actually buy IP addresses or create multiple IP addresses and multiple subnet. And let me explain the differences. The first thing is, if you look at this great IP, this is your default IP address on your firewall. This IP address cannot be changed because this is the IP address that the firewall is living on. These IP addresses, these are additional IP addresses that are assigned or provisioned to your firewall just in case you want to open up ports on the internet like HTTP. Now the internal IP addresses, what we did at DenCloud is we actually uh, allow the customer to have multiple subnets all from, the, all from one virtual data center. For example, you have one subnet for your desktop, you have one subnet for your server, then you have one subnet for your DMZ. So let me show you how to actually do this. So the first thing is, is you can buy an IP on the fly. So I just purchased an IP of 199.187.129.13. So this IP has been automatically assigned to my firewall. So now I can start using this IP to open up uh, ports on the internet to a specific server. The other thing is too, you can actually add multiple subnets on uh, your firewall. So for example, you can add uh, 172.25.102.0 slash 24. So just in case you're bringing up another server form or you want to segregate, you know, network traffic between one network to another, you just hit load and it's going to automatically fill it for you. You just got to put in the domain name with the Active Directory domain name, which is uh, online.local. That's my Active Directory and dot one is going to be my, my, uh, my gateway. So here you go. It's been configured. It's online. It's assigned to the firewall and now I got layer 2 isolation and layer 3 isolation as well. So now that uh, I showed you guys the difference between public IPs and internal IPs, uh, let's go ahead and open up a port on a web server that I have set up. So I click add, choose the IP address that you want on the public side, choose the virtual machine slash IP address that you want to open up on the inside, then TCP, then you will just hit port 80, you click save and that's pretty much it. Once you're done, you can start using the server on the internet. Next thing I want to show you is VPN. One of the most exciting things about DenCloud um, is we actually created the, the virtual data center in a turnkey fashion. So with user interactions to the system, um, you'll have an easy configuration and an easy migration to the cloud. So VPN is one of the critical things to any cloud. You want to connect to your my cloud, which is your virtual cloud to your existing infrastructure so you can transfer data, uh, you can have user access specific applications that are hosted in the cloud or vice versa in a corporate headquarters. So what I did here is um, I set up a site-to-site -site VPN between our DIN cloud headquarters that is using a Cisco ASA 5520 and the way to do it is very simple. Number one is this is your source IP on your virtual firewall in DIN cloud. Number two is this is my destination IP to the ASA 5520 um, number three, this is my password. I just picked any generic password. And number three is you got to pick the 
encryption mechanism that we use, you have three available, low, medium, and high. High is AES-256, and the IKE policy as well is AES-256. Now, this is really cool because I want to allow traffic from here to here and here to here. So what this means is I want to allow uh, traffic from my 192.168.1.0 subnet to communicate back to the ASA um, and any servers that sit behind the ASA that is protected from the ASA. Um, so I'm going to try to talk from here to here. Once you're done saving in this, then at that point, yeah, the VPN is established and communication is in place. Now, let me show you guys a quick demo of actually communicating back to uh, um, to the, the, the VPN tunnel. So I have an IP address here. This is a Windows server. My IP address is 192.168.1.29. This server lives in your uh, in the cloud. And now I want to ping um, my remote site from my cloud to the remote site. So I'm just going to go ahead, ping 10.253.56.1. So what I'm doing right now, I am pinging or I'm talking to uh, my cloud that is hosted at Dink Cloud, and I'm talking back to my uh, my headquarters over a VPN tunnel. Here you go. I'm able to ping uh, the internal subnet, which is this subnet right here, uh, from here to here. So the VPN tunnel is established, and all communications in place. Now you can run services and share resources across your cloud and your physical data center. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Waleed Elamari. I want my